This is Atlas Launch Control. We're now 23 minutes 33 seconds into the into the mission. Flight of the Atlas V and the Cygnus module now on its way toward a rendezvous with the International Space Station. Fern, I wonder if you could give us a quick snapshot of what you saw as the rocket went uphill. How did it uh, look in terms of uh, the flight of the Atlas and the Centaur and the orbit that we're in? It was a beautiful launch, uh, George. Everything was very nominal. Um, I can tell you that the uh, for the Atlas booster phase of flight, um, the Atlas booster performed uh, slightly above nominal, so that's a good thing. The uh, predicted times of when events occurred were very close to the pre or I'm sorry, the actual times were very close to the pre-flight predictions. I can tell you that uh, booster engine cutoff occurred within a tenth of a second of our uh, prediction. And uh, main engine cutoff when we uh, inserted the Cygnus module into orbit was within two seconds of the pre-flight predictions, which is well, well within the um, expected variation. Uh, looks like we, uh, we nailed the orbit once again. And uh, in a few minutes, we'll, uh, we'll go off and get our initial look at the data. But at this point, everything looks very nominal. looks like a very accurate orbit insertion. I know that the, uh, the spacecraft folks are getting some data from the spacecraft right now. It looks good. And they're going to have full calm in about five or six minutes from now. And we're looking forward to uh, hearing from them uh, how things are going. We're just, uh, as a matter of interest, the Centaur now to complete the mission um, of the Atlas V and United Launch Alliance has some things to do. Yes, exactly. So as soon as we separate, we immediately begin what we call a CCAM maneuver. That's a collision and contamination avoidance maneuver. The idea is to back away from the spacecraft so that uh, there's no chance of recontact and so that uh, there's no possibility of contamination from the small uh, maneuvering thrusters that we have on Centaur. Now about a half an hour after separation, I think it's about 27 minutes, we will actually do another short engine burn. It'll last uh, about 11 or 12 seconds and the reason we're doing that is to do a controlled deorbit of the Centaur upper stage and that will bring the stage down uh, just a little over an hour after liftoff. So what's that? Probably about uh, close to half an hour from now. Uh, it'll bring it down south of Australia over open water, and that, that's a planned deorbit so that you never have to worry about orbital debris from, uh, from this upper stage again. So uh, once we're done with that, our launch vehicle mission will be complete. But of course, the primary mission to deliver Cygnus to orbit looks like uh, it has been successful, and we'll get confirmation of that shortly. Well, very congratulations on a successful launch, and I know we very much have enjoyed having the uh, Orbital Cygnus uh, ATK people here at uh, Kennedy and processing through Kennedy facilities. They really have been uh, very enjoyable to work with, and uh, you know, hopefully they'll come back and, and bring us another module at some point in the future we as forward. well. Yeah, we look forward to doing it again. They're a great team to work with. I love working with them, and I uh, hope we can all do it again That's soon. Exactly right. Yep, they're a, a super payload test team. So, well, Vern, thanks very much. We'll look forward to seeing you on the uh, post-launch news conference later on. But again, thank you, and congratulations on uh, what appears to be at this point as a very successful launch for the Atlas V. Okay, thank you, George. We'll see you in a while. And we're now 27 minutes, 10 seconds into the flight of the Atlas V with uh, Cygnus now on its way to the uh, International Space Station.